Next, we'll talk about cholangiocarcinoma. It's the second most common primary hepatic neoplasm, usually found in older adults. And it can be classified based on location into intrahepatic, extrahepatic, and hyalur. And the risk factors are chronic inflammation or cholestasis. And it can have different growth patterns into periductal infiltrative, mass forming, or intraductal. On arterial phase, we see heterogeneous enhancement. And on venous phase, we expect progressive enhancement due to the fibrotic stroma. Secondary signs include capsular retraction and biliary obstruction. Here's an example of a typical periductal infiltration of the cholangiocarcinoma, in which we see this infiltrative hyalur mass and also helpful secondary signs of the intrahepatic biliary ductal dilatation that would clue us in that it's a cholangiocarcinoma. This is a more discrete mass forming type in which we see heterogeneous arterial enhancement with progressive enhancement. And this progressive enhancement of a heterogeneous lesion would be a good imaging appearance for cholangio. This one is a rather subtle looking mass, but we can also appreciate that there is the heterogeneously enhancing lesion with deforming the liver contour. So if you see some extra bumps of the liver contour, look very closely at the texture to make sure that there's not a mass there. This is the intraductal growth pattern of cholangiocarcinoma. They're kind of like IPMNs of the bile ducts. So you, because of the high mucin content, you expect to see very T2 bright lesion, heterogeneous enhancement, hot on PET. So this is an intraductal cholangiocarcinoma.